This is me. By now, I should have been at the wedding of my last single friend. But for some reason, I fell asleep. Obviously, there's something I don't want to face. I'm not one of those girls who's always dreaming of white dresses and cute babies. But in the last few years, I've seen all my friends get married, one by one. They move in with their boyfriends, get married, and have children. But I? I'm only there as a witness. Unlike my friends, I happen to live a gypsy life. As an assistant director, I travel from shoot to shoot. Action. For a few weeks, that film crew turns into a fleeting family. But when the film ends, so does that family. Now, I'm the only single one left. In your 20s, you are free to do whatever you want. Have boyfriends, lovers, one-night stands, work, study, just like men. But female freedom has an expiration date. When you turn 30, a conservative curtain falls. At every social gathering, you're confronted with one silent question. After all, I was raised in a traditional way. And I followed the rules to the letter. Until the time came to choose a boyfriend. Buongiorno. Siete su Natural Geographic. I was looking for an intense, passionate love story. And I found many. Each one of them was the love of my life. I never imagined they would all end up together in a box of tapes. ¿Y vos qué pensás, mami, qué va a pasar? Me imagino que a lo mejor este, vas a ir madurando y vas a, vas a valorar estar en pareja y vas a este, hacer un esfuerzo, porque hay que, hay que hacer un esfuerzo para poder este, Pero... convivir con otra persona. Hay que hacer un gran esfuerzo, no es fácil. Parte del ser humano es procrear, tener hijos, este, tratar de armar algo. Después, bueno, sí, creo que, que dura, dura. Ojalá que dure mucho tiempo. Pero... Si buscas la, la perfección, vas a estar... No vas a encontrarla nunca. For once, I decide to look for a good guy. And hence Fernando. The perfect boyfriend. Especially for my family. I finally become the nice Jewish girl everyone wants me to be. Throughout our relationship, we attend 18 weddings. But when the time comes to plan our own, I realize I'm not being true to myself. 
I cannot be that perfect bride. I still don't know how to resolve this equation. But at least I learned a few things about myself. I don't want those intense, impossible relationships of my 20s. Nor do I want a perfect husband behind a white picket fence. And I definitely don't plan to spend my life alone. Now I realize that everything I was looking for was much closer than I thought. Whether with someone or alone, in those glimpses when you love and accept yourself totally, the world around you changes. In the end, happiness is a choice, isn't it?